Hello everybody and welcome to my Kunark spell guide, specifically for the Teak Random Loot TLP server. Now I just want to make an announcement and let you guys know we will be streaming EverQuest on my other channel. So if you're interested in seeing the live streams of the TLP server, go ahead and check out that channel, subscribe to it, and uh, follow us over there. So with that being said, the reason why this is important for you guys starting, especially if you're a new player, is that a lot of people don't realize that Breeze came out in Kunark. They're just not aware of that. So you want to get this spell, Breeze, early on, level 14. You can buy it in the Common Lands Tunnel. It doesn't give you a lot of extra mana, but it, the early game, it is huge. And I mean big time, until you get to level 26 and get clarity. And that's quite a long time. That's 12 levels away, so you definitely need the Breeze. Super cheap to buy. Forget the Illusion XR, not a big deal. It doesn't really do anything except makes you grow a tail. Boon of the Clear Mind, it's a group uh, clarity. Anytime you get this group kind of buffs and stuff, get it because it makes you more efficient. Now, when we hit the level 50, this is where it gets really interesting. We're talking about Theft of Thought. Theft of Thought is a, a spell that is dropped by the mobs. Um, like in old Sibyllis, you get the low level from level 50s to mid 50s, they will drop this kind of spell. And what you do is you get these spells and you can tr turn them into a the spell vendor. There's a certain spell vendor in the, over there in front of I. Turn it in and you will get either Wake of Tranquility, Clarity 2, Color Slant, Recant Magic, uh, Cripple. I think you get some other of these uh, spells here too. But you'll see the ones that matter are the ones I'm going to tell you about. And by the way, in this video, in the end, I'm going to list in importance which spells are the most important to you, in my opinion. Having played an enchanter for on and on, I always play one. So Death of Thought, very important. Collaboration, not a big deal unless you're doing quests where you need to crank up the faction. So not a big deal. I'd skip this one altogether unless you have money burning a hole in your pocket. Another big uh, spell that's very important is Wake of Tranquility. A lot of people don't realize just how important this spell is. And it is a targeted AE, and it goes up to 60. A couple things you got to realize that aren't mentioned here is that Wake of Tranquility has a line of sight ability only. You cannot cast it through the walls by using the tar command. You cannot do anything like that or have anybody else say, target my target. You can't do that at all. So you have to have line of sight to do this. Now, where is this useful? This is useful for those mobs that you cannot pacify, like um, at the lower levels. For example, old Sibyllis Juggernauts that are downstairs. You want to use this spell on them. And, okay, let's keep going. That's why it's important. Definitely get it. Very good. Rune 5 costs a parry dot. You're going to go broke if you cast this too much, and it only protects you for a little bit right here, not a whole lot. Fascination, the general rule is an enchanter. All the mesmerizes, buy them. All the haste, buy them. All the charms, buy them. Don't even think about it, just buy them, okay? Let's go down to clarity two. Enough said, you know what to do, just buy it, okay? You don't need to think about it, you're gonna need it. Everybody's gonna start asking you for clarity two. Even if it's early on and you're one level below this, you're still using the regular old clarity, they're gonna still ask you no matter what because they think every time you past 50 you got clarity too okay color slant big deal with this spell and how it has changed okay so i want to point something out because in the old days if you're a returning player you may not realize this but there in the old days you could stack this up color skew color slant color flux all of them and you could cast them one two three four five in a row and perma lock the whole room but now they've nerfed it they put it on the same timer meaning you can only cast one of those in the same timer and it puts everything else on timer lockdown so in other words you can only cast one of these so not very useful anymore i would say because you can't chain stun so if you mess up on that first stun and it gets resisted a lot of times it does you don't have another stun you can cast therefore mob's going to beat the stuffing out of you and it's going to be you're going to be dead enchanter so it's not as useful anymore so i i, I don't know i don't really I really I just use a mez instead like that because if the mez can't lock them down, this set definitely can't lock them down at all. Cripple, not a big deal to use cripple in my opinion. If you have extra mana to use and you're on a raid, the shaman use can do cripple too at the same level, 
And so that's going to be the shaman casting cripple, not you. Here's a big, huge spell that is so good. It's recant magic. And recant magic strips four buffs off the monster. Now, what's important about this is that people don't realize that you're going to be able to take their haste off. You're going to be able to take their shield off. You're going to be able to take whatever kind of goofy buffs they have on them, like a damage shield. They're really important. And think about it. Think about how many buffs some of the mobs have. A lot of them have at least four, at least. And so you're going to need to strip all of those things off. And keep in mind, sometimes they're going to cast some more buffs on them or some other mobs going to rebuff them. you got to still keep debuffing them and keep doing this. So this is a real important one. And you can, you're can you going to save your team a lot of um, mana and healing. And you're going to save um, a lot in DPS. People just don't calculate how much you can save the mob. Just try it sometimes. Don't cast it on a mob and see what happens. And then cast it on them, and you'll notice the mobs significantly weaker. Charm, buy it. Anya's quickening. Okay, so there's another spell that does a pretty good job. It's called Augment. Uh, so you want to get that. But this is useful for situations where you absolutely positively need the best haste possible. Get it. Shift Shield of the Magi, get it. You Enough said, it's a shield. Anything you can get like that to make you live longer, get it. Glamour. Here's one spell that's very interesting, I find. So the deal with Glamour is it comes with a 30% Membler. And this, by the way, is the same thing as a Memory Flux. So anytime you can get that chance to blur them, it's good. A lot of people say, well, it doesn't work. It's because you have to cast it, and the mob's got to kind of be away from the aggro. Like, if he's still within... The mob is still in the uh, distance that can aggro on you or other mobs and get assist aggro. Then obviously he's gonna it's gonna break out of it, and you're gonna think, oh, it never worked. But it definitely, you know, about thirty percent of the time, or I'd say twenty five percent of the time, it will work. Like you can mesmerize a mob that's kind of far away from the action because you just need to, like a roamer, you mes him, and then the thing is, is you'll notice it'll mes will break. And the mob forgets about it and just keeps going on and doing its own business. So that's why that's it actually does work as pretty good. Okay, Dementia, it's a nuke, <clears throat> magic base, forget it. Unless you're really soloing and all that. But as an enchanter, you don't want to be popping this nuke off because it does such little damage at this level. You know, your tanks and DPS can do way more DPS. But if you really absolutely need to get that in there, that stun then do it but i'll tell you a better way to do it is if you just want the stun you can use a uh, lower level um nukes and they can go ahead and, and do an interrupt for you okay winds of tashinian this is an area effect um met, uh tosh when you do this you want to make sure you have something like fascination first so the order that you do this you cast fascination on the train Okay, if you're still alive, <laughs> then you can go ahead and cast this. Remember, this can land on you because it is unresistible. So keep that in mind that you are far enough away. The distance is about like 35. It's standard issue. You you can figure out how far that is by using a mez with the same distance, going into the newbie lands and practicing on the mobs. Take a mental note of how much it is. Okay, here's a useless spell coming up. Uh, Largon's, Largon's Lamination. Okay, this is um, the a takeoff from Triple D, which is a uh, dizzying, whatchamacallit, single target spell. I find this pretty useless. It, it hardly ever seems to work or it gets resisted and all that. So don't even bother doing this. This is maybe for the solo artist that wants to be real cute. Don't do it away. Somebody's going to say, oh, but I use this spell and I love it. And I was able to kill whatever because it's okay. That's good. But... You have better options. Okay, Zoomax animation. Forget it. That is a distraction just for you to find a place to die, a better place to die. Or if you want, maybe you're close to making it to the zone line or something like that, then you use the pet. But the, these pets have been nerfed and their damage has been capped and stuff. Not like in the old days where you could really make these pets pretty tough. But um, the Enchanter pet is the weakest out of all of them. It's... It's really a joke. It really is. Like mage pets are for real, and, and uh, necro pets can do something, but this is this is just silly. Don't do it. Another useless spell: trepidation, fear. 
You're not a fear kiter. That's not your job. Don't even bother with this here. Um, people do this outside. They want to fear something. <clears throat> and maybe you're working with a, a druid or something like that. But that's kind of strange because most druids always team up with other druids. But just say you're teaming up with druids and they say, hey, can you fear the one that I snared? Okay, that's what it's good for. Gift of pure thought, group clarity to get it. Use the spell torment. Okay, why? It decreases wisdom and intelligence and decreases mana and all that. That's kind of useless because NPCs and mobs, they have um, unlimited regen, it seems like. It just keeps going up and up and up. And like I, I had this made this video a few years ago of the ghoul, I believe it's the cavalier or one of those in the lower gut tower he was a, the, a cleric or something and i charmed him and he alone could take on two to three of the same mobs of his level that's when you could charm name mobs and he never ran out of mana at all he could just heal himself and then he'd heal himself back up and he'd go beat on the mobs and heal himself back up you know so this thing doesn't matter because the stats don't matter they have unlimited of this and that it's a totally different game useless Overwhelming, overwhelming splendor. By this time, you should have charisma that's so high. I think after a certain point, after 200 charisma, it's all diminishing returns. And a lot of times, it's really debatable whether it works or not. I have made enchanters with lower level charisma, and they've performed just about as good as ones that had higher charisma. So some people swear by it, but I didn't really notice a statistical uh, difference. You know, uh, I've had 255 uh, charisma and you can you can test this on live servers you can go ahead and get enchanter with defiant gear and you can get that charisma way up there and you're still going to be breaking your charms right and left so that's why it's not really good augment great spell because you get all of this for only this little price right here and this thing it lasts a long time check this out right here 36 minutes sold you got to get augment really really good stuff and there's another one that comes out later that's good enlightenment good spell because usually the clerics are going to say hey can you get me with enlightenment because they want to get a little more mana um because that's how clerics get uh, clerics and wisdom classes get mana and all that tasha Nian, this is a single target um debuff you want to get all of these these debuffs because you're going to be the one toshing before the mage puts malo on you we put this on mobs and then they'll have an easier time landing malo definitely want it umbra not a big deal i think this has stacking issues with other cleric ac buffs and other classes so it's mainly like you put this on your pet but you're not going to put it on your pet anyway because it only allow them to live like two seconds longer but maybe that two seconds is enough for you to find a good place to die somewhere. So yeah, I get that. Only in that case. Forlorn. This is where this is situational. Later in the game, you really need to land that slow on the mob. And maybe you don't have a shaman in the group. They have a disease-based slow also. So they just got you. You're the one that's going to be doing a slow. Then you just got to spam this sucker like crazy and land it on the mob and slow it down. Because if they don't, your tank's going to get, you know, torn to, to shreds and you're going to be dead so this is in, in when you're fighting real big tough named you need to get a slow on them this is the one you're going to do okay next up is fetter why would you use this route here because you need a better route and that's going to be the situation sometimes where you cannot mez a mob you just got to root them and you got to pray to god that it's going to work because if not they're going to come rip your face right off okay get this to wondrous rapidity it's situational but heck you can do it okay some it's only like six percent difference over where is the other one there's another over anya so anya's 275 and then um wondrous is 325 that's 50 extra mana but six percent extra you may not even notice it you'll have to see what how much difference 70 percent is over 64. it's a slight advantage but if you've got this kind of mana you can burn and okay go for it bedlam didn't find it useful because it puts a little shield on there that is 350 that's often like two hits or depending on what you're fighting maybe even one hit you know and this 
doesn't this is a fading type of thing it goes on it slowly fades and all that and strength not that big a deal and agility you know those are they don't make that much of a deal some tanks want it all the time but i wouldn't cast it because look at how much it's burning right here it's burning a lot i mean heck that's almost burning you know two-thirds of what you know your haste is burning on them so it's crazy next thing is rapture okay so here's where you you need to get this rapture now if you look back at uh, your last charm, which is at bull trans, it goes up to 53. And let's, I mean, your first mess, your first charm is, 50, excuse me, sorry. We're talking about mesmerize here. So there's a little gap in mesmerize. I remember it goes from like 57, one of these, yes, this one, glamour, it goes up to 57. So you have a gap from 57 all the way to 59. So you can mesmerize up to 57. Then you got two levels where, you you have to use this thing here you have to use rapture let's take a look at uh rapture i believe this says augment let's go ahead and close augment bull trans is close augment here's rapture right here so rapture lasts 42 seconds here it has a quite a long recast on it here it has a good membler but this is uh the mes the you're going to be using so definitely get it but i just want to point those things out Next one I want to point out is Vision of Grandeur. By all means, get it. It increases your, your speed. So look at 58%. This is like augment up here. So it's pretty good, I would say. Definitely, definitely get it. Let's talk a little bit about Dictate real fast because there's a lot of, been, a lot of talk about this. One thing that Rapture and Dictate have is they have negative 1,000s on them, I call it. This means they're unresistible. It's really, really big. Make sure that the mob you're going to mez is mezzable because it will not mez everything. Unmezzable mobs uh, are not going to be mez by this at all. Okay, so this one, same deal. But look at the recast is 300 seconds on Dictate. That's a long time, you know, so you're going to cast this. And this is this is basically the spell that's called Oshat. You know, I'm in trouble and I need a mez right away. Otherwise, we're going to be dead. Then you use your dictate. But you got to keep in mind, um, excuse me, all this time I've been talking about a mez. This is actually a charm. <laughs> so sorry about that, guys. If you've listened to the video this long, you can have a good laugh. Put LOL in the comments just to crack me up. But anyway, so this is a charm up to level 58. And the charm the only lasts eight ticks. So very situational once again, but it's if you absolutely positively need a charm, you pop this on it and make sure you comment and 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 put a LOL in there because I totally messed up on that. But I'm sure I won't get any comments on it because I think only a few people watch to the end of the video anyway. So y'all have a good day and I'll see you out in Teak and look forward to other spell guides. Thanks for watching.